What's going on guys? So today I am out here at Explore USA RV Supercenter in Rockport, Texas. And we're gonna take a look at this absolutely enormous and beautiful Montana fifth wheel. First of all, before we get started, please hit that subscribe button below the video if you haven't had a chance to do that. Uh, it just lets you know whenever new videos come out and you know, I love talking about RVs, trucks, and everything else. So take a moment, subscribe to the channel if you wouldn't mind. Anyways, we're gonna take a closer look at the inside than the outside of this unit. Hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, so let's start by looking at the numbers on this unit. It's gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 16,500 pounds. It's gonna have a cargo capacity of 2,840 pounds. So it's got a good cargo capacity. It's gonna ride on twin 7,000 pound axles and have G-rated 16 inch tires. So the numbers here look pretty good. This is what you wanna see. And the fact that they're putting G-rated tires on a lot more of these fifth wheels is just a great thing to see also. It just gives you that peace of mind that at least you have a tire designed to be able to hold the weight of the RV. This size of unit, I would highly recommend you tow this behind a single rear wheel one ton or a dually one ton truck or greater. You definitely want to have the cargo capacity you need to be able to support the pin weight of something like this. This is not going to be a lightweight fifth wheel. So you're going to have upwards of 3,000 plus pounds transferring to your truck and you want to know that you have the payload capacity to support that. Hydraulic leveling system, drop frame. We'll take a look at all this when we come back out. And this is the 3931 FB. Keystone Montana fifth wheel. Best selling brand for a long time. I like that it has the new Lippard screen door assist and the screen defender in place as, as well. Plus, it has the friction hinge to prevent the door from being caught by the wind and slamming on you. Stepping inside, you know, one thing Keystone has been doing absolutely fantastically with these Montanas is the color tones. Much brighter much lighter, more neutral tones, makes it feel more airy inside, more spacious. Since we have the price here, let's talk about it. So this has an MSRP of $28,728, which means the sale price is gonna be significantly less than that. These are all rated for full-time living, which is really nice. And one thing that's also nice to see on the outside, you'll see solar 200. That means this has 200 watts of solar built into it. All right. Let's walk through the kitchen and the rest of the unit before we go outside. So you have your GE French door refrigerator. Really, really nice cabinetry throughout. Have power inside here as well. Cabinets above and below. Nice magnetic holds. Great place for a coffee maker. Plus you have two thermostats in here. A little area for your silverware. These are soft closing drawers and soft closing cabinets. Love that. Storage everywhere in this unit. And this is a rear living room floor plan. The most popular style of floor plan you can get. I love the contrasting tones between the island and the cabinetry. I think it really, really stands out. Makes it look beautiful. You have your suburban four burner, or this is a three burner cooktop assembly. Looks really nice, actually. You have your convection microwave from High Point, full size residential, dual basin stainless steel sink, cabinets that also turn lights on when you open them. Very nice. Comes with tire pressure monitoring as well. It's always nice when you see this. It's just one less thing that you have to purchase after you get the RV, which can save you, you know, three, four hundred dollars. You have your little power stations right here as well, plus a huge pantry. Nice, solid sounding doors. Nice, real glass inside of the door. You have your TV already mounted in place right here. Storage above. Lots of storage, actually. Great place to put like extra pillows and things like that as well. You have your media station right here, JBL sound system, plus a very, very, very wide panoramic fireplace. I love the flush floor they got going on here as well as on this side. Then you have a sofa right here, but check this out. 
you have a theater sofa right here. So you have two sofas in your living room. That is pretty amazing. This one's gonna be theater seating, so these will come out and extend and recline. And then the center will probably drop down for just a giant armrest. But that is enormous. You can see a third person in the middle of there, no problem at all. Plus you're gonna have power and USB right here, I imagine. Yep, USB and power. And these are all electronic chairs, so they electronically recline, all of that stuff. And then you have a sofa sleeper back here, folds out into a huge, almost king-size bed, which gives you extra sleeping accommodations. You have your blackout blinds up here, along with shades, which is really nice. I love these valances. Just look at that, all the detail. Beautiful valances. Coming around this way. If your dinette, it has two chairs out. There's probably two somewhere else in the closet, maybe in the basement storage under the bed, but you're gonna have two more chairs so you can see four people at this freestanding dinette. Very nice, nice window here. I love the valance again, and I love the lighting above it. Trimmed off beautifully. Even up here in the kitchen, it's also trimmed off very, very nice. Plus huge crown molding. It's a lot larger than you typically see in RVs. Gorgeous. All right, so back here, it's not real tile, but it still looks nice and it's textured, so it doesn't look like it's just a printed design. And here you have a half bath. So check that out. You have a porcelain sink, porcelain foot flush toilet, extra storage, a lot of storage in here. More storage up top. Great for inviting guests over so they're not having to walk through the master bedroom to get to the bathroom over there. So they have a nice, large half bathroom. And that's a lot larger than most half bathrooms you see in RVs. Nice little coat hanging closet. All your controls are gonna be up here. Stepping up. King size bed. And it actually has a little bit of extra room that you typically don't see in RVs on the side of the bed. So you got more room right here. You got more storage in here, and it's actually a wardrobe storage. With a nice mirror on each one of the doors. Let's check this out. So instead of putting nightstands down here on the bottom, they've put them up here on the top. So you can just reach over. The only thing that, that could be a little sketchy if you have like a hot cup of coffee and you want to put it up top. So it would still be nice to have some little shelves coming off the end here so you can have your coffee or tea in the evening. And then you can put your wallet, phone, iPad, whatever you want up top. But it still looks really nice in here. It has the nice black covers for the Coleman Mach air conditioning system, Whisper Quiet air conditioning system. Another window in here. Door magnetically holds open. And you have your TV already in place, nicely trimmed off. Plus nice back panel here. You know, if they would have extended this out just a little bit more, they could have actually made this into like a functional desk space. But you got drawers going down just both sides of it. Six drawers here, plus you have more storage right here as well. Stepping into the bathroom. Has a nice front line one piece shower system with a slider arm there for the shower head. Porcelain toilet, plenty of room in front of it. That's actually a pretty good seated area. I think it would have been nice if they cornered it a little bit more just to give you a little bit more hip room because you don't have a tremendous amount of hip space between the edge of the toilet and the, uh, the shower stall. Beautiful porcelain bowls here, two of them. Plus nice medicine cabinets up here as well. More wardrobe storage in here. This is really nice because this gives you the ability to actually come into the bathroom, shower, do everything you need to do, and then change without having to go back out into the, the bedroom area. Nice seated area here, I presume with storage. That's really good. And that could be a great place for like laundry storage as well. 
plus a small window right there that has a day-night roller shade so you have the screen so you can get some privacy or you can black it out completely. At the end here, you have some really nice wardrobe storage. Nice hanging rod up top. All right, so now I am on a mission to hunt down where a washer and dryer would go in this unit because I didn't see a spot. Maybe in here somewhere. Maybe right here. Okay, so this is where your washer and dryer would go. You would take out these shelves and there's your water connections. So you'd have a stackable unit and this is where they would go. Which isn't a bad spot because you know with the slides out, it actually gives you a lot of space in front of it to be able to uh, do your laundry. So that is actually pretty functional. Anyways, let's hop outside and take a look at the outside of this Montana. Okay, starting up front, this has the Road Armor Trail Air pin box. Big rubber bushing right here. This basically pivots, helps alleviate some of the shock and vibration from transferring from the trailer to the truck or the truck to the trailer. Has a hydraulic level up auto leveling system. Your generator would normally be right here if you prep it for one. And you can see your hydraulic system right there. Nice slam latch there. Another slam latch over there. This is gonna be your propane tank storage. 30 pound propane tank on each side. All right. Very dense doors, even though they're not the thickest. Nice drop frame space here. You can see your aluminum bath deck above it as well tons of space in here you have your road vac placement over here on the side as well nice slam latches outside of your furnace outside of your water heater and this is going to ride on an 8 inch i-beam drop frame drop frame simply means you have a lower section of frame right there mounted to the main 12 inch i-beam frame so it gives you that huge storage area without the floor being elevated up more I'd step above steps here. This is going to have Saloon tires on it, the S637 G rated tires, an excellent tire. 12 inch I beam frame. You have nice reinforced shackle hangers there as well, plus the road armor suspension. I'm a big fan of that. The heavy duty shackle straps with greasable wet bolts also. It's a nice rack and pinion frame over here, or rack and pinion slide out. You have two big awnings, one coming off the slide here, one over here. All frameless windows as well. These are not dual pane windows though. Coming around back. Nice LED lighting. Has some smaller lighting up top, but also LED all the way around. Full walk-on roof. Does not have a bumper, but it is rated to tow. I believe it's gonna be 3,000 pound towing capacity 300 pound hitch weight capacity because you have your light controllers right there i don't recommend towing behind a fifth wheel though so my biggest recommendation would be not to do that it is prepped for a camera coming around this way this is going to be your kitchen slide out we're walking past plus your vent. So that vents the air out above the stove, uh, the microwave vent. So you want to make sure that that is open if you're going to be using the vent above your stove. Right here, you're going to have a area for your black tank and gray tank handles. You have your sewer connections right here, and then you'll probably have a hose hanger. There it is. So you have a hose storage right here since there is no bumper on this unit. If there were a bumper, that's typically where you would store your hose. Okay, opening up the other basement storage, you have a nice water panel here as well. Very nice, and I love how it's sealed off from the storage area. But again, you can see just how much room you get by having the drop frame. Tons and tons and tons of basement storage in here. Very cool. There's your MPPT solar charge controller for your 200 watts of solar power that are on the roof of this unit. Then you have a Schwintech slide on your bedroom slide out. Anyways, guys, what do you think about this unit? It's pretty nice, to be honest. It's, it's definitely rear bedroom. You can sleep a few more people because of that fold-out sofa. But yeah, this is a, a beautiful, beautiful unit from Montana. 
Anyways, guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll be back to talk to you again very soon.